In this lecture, we will work with video files. We will work with video files using OpenCV. And it's pretty easy job. All we have to do, we have to call the video capture method the cv2 dot video capture. And inside the method argument, we have to pass the file path, including its extension. For our case, we have the file in our project directory. So if we just write the file name, we will get a suggestion. And we have to pass the path as a string. Let's write duck. And we are getting the suggestion. It means the file exists and it will not create any problem. Okay, now we have to assign it in some variable. I'm naming the variable video. Our video file is made with a lot of frames. That's why we have to use a while loop here. And we can say while true. Or we can say while video is opened. So we can say video is opened. And then inside the while block, we will read the video file. So video dot read. And after reading the video file, whatever the output we will get, whatever we will get in return, we will assign that in some variable. And the read method returns actually two statements. The first statement is true or false. If the video is readable, it returns true. And if the video is not readable, like if at the end of this video, then it will return false. So we can just say state for the video opened state or video readable state. And then at the second variable, we will get the frame, the video frame. So we can just name it frame and assign it here and then what we can say if state is equal to false or we can simply say if not state then inside the if block if we want we can show some message let's say print Video is not readable. Okay, I misspelled it. Readable, and then we have to break from this loop because the video is not readable anymore. So we will break from this loop and we will go outside this loop. Otherwise, if the state is not false, so we will say else. So the state is true, it means the video is readable. So we will say cv2 dot I'm sure. And at first param, we know we have to pass the window name. So we're passing the window name video. And at second param, we have to just show the frame. And then for quitting the program, we can say if cv2 dot wait key 10 millisecond equal to order pass the key. And inside the if block, we will quit the program. Okay. Now let's go outside of the while block. And here, let's release the video file. So, video.release and destroy all the windows. CV2 dot destroy all windows. 
and then let's run the program to test if our video is readable or not if there is any bug in the program or not so play and wait and we can see our video is playing that's awesome now let's do some other steps on the video like resizing the window okay let's resize the window first to resize the window we can use the named window method of opencv and resized window method of opencv so just before we show the video frame we have to call the named window method cv2 dot named window method and at first param we have to pass the window name we have to use the same window name we are using for showing the frame for our case it's video and then at second argument we have to pass the window status so cv2 dot window normal and then we have to call the resized window method cv2 dot resized window method the first argument takes the window name for our case the window name is video and at second param we have to pass the size at second argument actually so at the second argument we have to pass the width let's say we want 120 pixel as width and the third argument it takes for height let's say we want height 240 okay and run the program to taste and we can see our video window is resized we can also do the same thing using the immutable library first we have to import the immutable library Immutils, and if it's not installed in your system then you have to just install it using pip like you can say pip install immutils as i have already installed in the system so i'm just skipping it and here I'm just commenting these two pieces of code, these two lines of code actually. And then I'm using immutils dot resize. The resize method of immutil takes frame at first param. So frame. And at second param, it takes the width. Let's say we want. 100 pixel and at the third param it takes the height and we want 200 pixel height and now we have to assign it in some variable so we can name it frame again and then we are showing the frame here using the amshow method of opencv now let's simply run the application to taste and we can see it's working perfectly awesome well at this point if we want then we can take screenshots or images actually we already understood that the video is made with a lot of frames a lot of images every image is one frame because there are a lot of images so we can take a screenshots or we can say we can take every frame and make it one image so let's try that first of all let's declare one variable just before the while block i'm naming it current frame initializing as zero okay and then inside the while block after reading the video when we are getting the frame so here we can say name equal to and then convert this current frame to a string 
okay and then concatenate and then we have to use one extension we can use jpg or png i'm doing png and then for checking we can write one print statement here we can say print and we can say name simply okay and then we can use the amwrite method of opencv so cv2 dot amwrite and at first argument we can pass the file name for our case it's just name and at second argument we have to pass the image for our case the frame and after that we have to change the name this name so this name equal to is the current frame and the current frame will be zero for the first time and after creating one file writing one file or we can say writing one image we will simply say current frame plus equal to one that's how our file name will be changed and then everything will be simple i'm just commenting this one to keep the video window size same and then i'm just running the application and we can see in the window that it's taking the image we're getting it slow because of gpu issue so if we just quit the program and then we can see there are a lot of images in our project directory so we can simply right click here and open in finder and we can just check the images awesome we can see it has taken lots of images let's check a few more okay and one more and awesome that's it for now about video in opencv in our next lecture we'll learn about how to deal with camera